Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Air Benetero. Today we are going to do your April mid-monthly general love reading. Keep in mind, these are general readings. They cannot possibly apply to every single person watching, but if you would like a personal reading, the link will always be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. For all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading today. I also charge both decks on top of your own personalized astrological card. So again, this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. Currently, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks. So if we get any reversals, I'm going to accept them because I know they're aligned with the messages that we are meant to get today. Now, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Crazy Love by um, Brian McKnight. I always leave the links to the song in the description box below so you guys could click it and listen to it following your reading because I know they're aligned with the messages that I'm going to give you guys today. First thing that I heard immediately was that a lot of you guys are dealing with somebody. I feel like this is more geared towards people who have been in relationships for a while. And even it could apply to some of you guys who are new, but I'm feeling more so someone who's been dealing with someone for a while, right? The energy that I picked up is that you and this individual, you guys understand each other. You guys have a very unique relationship. People on the outside looking in are completely confused about the back and forth, back and forth, because there's definitely an energy of back and forth, right? between you and this partner, for the individuals that I'm reading for. Keep in mind, these are general readings, right? Um, there's a back and forth energy. You know, you one minute you guys are broke up, one minute you guys are back together, one minute you guys talk about marriage, next minute you guys are like, okay, let's, let's just pause and build our relationship. And that's the energy that I'm picking up. But there's love there. There's, there's a great deal of love there, but it's just like, it's not what the traditional relationship looks like but it works for you all that's what i'm picking up but there was some type of um interference I'm, i did pick up there was some type of interference right at the bottom of the deck you have a hangman and that makes perfectly good sense right because like i said there's there's some back and forth like you're kind of hanging in limbo one minute you guys want to be together next minute you guys don't but either way it goes the hangman is still in place he can get free his arms are free so he can untie his legs from this he's choosing to be in this position also, keep in mind with the hangman, with him being upside down, he's seeing the world completely different. You know, he sees things in a different perspective, and that's why it, oh, okay, and also I'm hearing it, like I said, you guys have a very unique and different relationship, because that's the key word. Something about this relationship is very different to, to you guys, and other people don't understand it, and it's not meant for them to understand it. At least that's what I'm hearing for you all, okay? As we hold the deck down so we can get additional messages, we're just going to power randomly. <laughs> you got the full card but you you know i feel like a lot of you guys there's somebody's taking that leap of faith somebody's moving forward regardless of what other people think and i'm gonna also tell you he looks like a gesture right like the court gestures from back in the day so a lot of people feel like you moving and, and continuing on this relationship with this person makes you look like a fool right that's what i'm picking up and also if you notice he has a hula hoop on one ankle yeah a hula hoop on one ankle so somebody feels like you or the other person is just jumping through loops and hoops in order to appease another person or in order to be in this relationship. Long story short, the the massive energy that I'm picking up for this is that a lot of people feel like you are really being foolish in this relationship. They see this relationship as foolish, but I don't feel like any of you care because this is your person. As we part the deck so that we can shuffle, you had a two of wands. So this is the card of Aries, right? And then you have two of wands. Some of you guys could have strong fire sign placements in your chart. Leo says Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or you could be dealing with an Aries, somebody that you're needing to make a decision about. Because with the two of wands, this is about needing to make a decision. Because if you see, he's right in the middle. He has not made a decision. He has not decided which direction he's going to go. So for some of you all, you're going to walk away because you do feel like it's foolish. And then for some of you, you're going to decide to move forward with this individual, regardless of what other people think. You don't care, you know. So we're going to get two cards. One is going to be a general energy. The second is going to be a possible outcome. And then we're going to get clarifiers for both. Now, you have a queen of swords here, and then you have a page of cups. Again, this is a cancer reading. So this is your energy here. 
some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius sun moon rising venus right doesn't have to be this can also be your energy you can have air sign placements in your chart and i'm going to tell you if you look at this together if you have air sign placements in your chart specifically you are getting ready to let people know how you feel about their opinions and you gonna shut that down real quick you know you may come off as all kind and sweet and innocent on the outside but baby it's another side of you because if you look at it, their backs are facing each other there's a side to you that people are going to get introduced to especially if they're jumping in giving opinions that you didn't ask for okay and if this isn't you if you don't have air sign placements in your chart i feel like the person that you're dealing with may and i feel like this individual is going to like really tear into some people because you see how she has that sword up in the air and right at the tip it's like a little ball of globe or fire or whatever somebody is going to have hell to pay if they come in between whatever you and this person have and they're going to speak their open their mouth about your relationship i'm going to tell you that most definitely is what i pick up look at that at the bottom of my deck you got a justice card and i just said some of you guys could be dealing with an individual with um, gemini libra aquarius placements the justice card is libra and tarot so it could be some strong libra energy in this situation but more than anything I feel like you and your partner or you and your love interest feels like you guys are balanced. Feel you guys know how to balance the situation with each other. So if you are constantly breaking up and get back together, I feel like right now at this point in your life, you feel like things are balanced between you and this person. You don't care what everybody else has to say. And I know you don't care because she's blindfolded. She don't hear, see nothing that everybody else has to say because this person feels like things are balanced or at least their idea of balance. And I feel like this is your energy. I don't feel like this is the other people. I feel like this is either you or your partner's energy. I'm going to tell you, I'm picking up strong naysayers, right? It's, it's some people who feel like their opinion matters in your situation. So let's get a general energy for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Too many flipped up, but I'm going to acknowledge it because I know I'm meant to. You have the Six of Swords in reverse. Um, I feel like this is definitely a card about moving forward and moving into something new. It's in reverse in this, again, a sword energy. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with strong air sign energy. But I'm going to tell you again, right? You, I don't feel like you're moving. If this is a person from your past, I don't feel like you're moving away from them. You know, I don't feel like you're moving to something new. I feel like you and this person are deciding to resolve your situation. You have the moon card at the bottom of the deck and it's upright. Um, this is the card of Pisces, but more than anything, I always pick up cancer energy. Cause if you see in this card, there's a crab coming out of that water, you know, and I feel like strongly, this is your energy. I feel like, okay. Also keep in mind with that justice card, she was blindfolded. I feel like with this moon card, you know, the moon card for me is always things unseen, things unknown, things that are hidden behind under the surface. Right. And I know that because look at that, the crab is coming from the bottom of the water up to the surface things that are hidden under the surface and i feel like you're going to get ready to see those things but again keep in mind i also said there are naysayers you got two wolves here on the side right there there's there's naysayers there's people who feel like they have some type of say so in this situation possibly a friend that you're always venting to about this relationship they feel like they have say so about the situation the and they also with this moon card it's also telling me that a lot of people feel like you're not really seeing the truth about this love interest. And that's what I'm getting from that moon card. Most definitely. Yep. No question about that. And I don't know if you can hear this in the background, but just as I'm saying, it's like these sirens. You hear it? There are sirens in the background. So that's giving me confirmation also. And also, as I said, that the time is 855. So some of you guys want to look up angel number 855. Yeah. So look, I'm, I, it's never been my business to tell people what to do. But I'm going to tell you that there is, mm, and look at that, two cards flipped up as soon as I, I didn't even get to shuffle it. Yeah. So it's not my business to tell people what to do, but I'm going to say be cautious because I do feel like, especially with hearing those sirens and then at the time we've seen 855 and fives are about, and as I said, that 855 and then you have five of cups in reverse, right? Fives are about challenges and changes that we don't have any control over. I feel like your friends and family, like I said, with that moon card, they're telling you that you're not seeing things clearly and you may not be, but you don't care because you have an understanding. You and your love interest have an understanding about the nature of your relationship. And I know that because you had a nine of cups, this is your energy as your general. And then you have the five of cups in reverse. 
I feel like, you know, you see how the Nine of Cups is looking and facing in the direction of the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups upright is about crying over spilled milk. Um, also about, you know, feeling defeated in love, feeling heartbroken. Something happened that caused you to feel heartbroken. And something happened to make you feel like you couldn't trust this person. And I'm picking up strong fire sign energy. I always said it with this card. This is a Cups water card. But if you look at the background, it's red, orange, it's yellow, so it's that fiery energy. Even this little beam right here is like this little fire, little fiery energy. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. Because remember earlier with that um, full card, which again is the card of Aries. Some of you guys could be dealing with a person with strong Aries placements in their chart. You could also have this placement. But I feel like you want to see happiness. You feel like this person is your wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups. Because at one point, everything was not okay and peaceful in this relationship. And you see how the Nine of Cups is looking in the direction of this Five of Cups. In reverse, you're coming out of that feeling abandoned, feeling left, feeling hurt. Because this person is hurt, emotionally distraught. You're wanting, to come out, you're wanting to come out of that. But I feel like a lot of people, for a lot of you all, you have a friend, family member who feels like you're not seeing things clearly. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of your clarifying deck, you have the four of pentacles up right now. I'm going to tell you, even if you don't have earth sign placements in your chart, this could be your energy. You're holding on to this person or this person, again, applied how it, it works in your situation. Either you're holding on to this person or this person is holding on to you. I feel like for a lot of you all, you put so much time and energy into the situation, dealing with this individual that you don't see, you don't want to separate from this person or this person doesn't want to separate from you. Let's power the deck randomly to get additional messages. Yeah, the chariot card, this is you guys card. You guys want to move forward with this individual. Again, I predominantly felt like this was your energy. You know, you feel like this person is literally your nine of cups, your happiness, your cups runneth over. As far as you're concerned in regards to this individual, forward movement. You definitely want forward movement with this individual. And also keep in mind, the, the chariot is major arcana. This is something that's supported by the universe. It's in line with whatever cycle you're in currently right now in life. As we part the deck randomly so that we can shuffle, we have the emperor. You feel like this person is your life partner, your spouse, your wife. This is somebody that you have a lot, a great deal of respect for. Again, with this emperor, um, Taurus, Aries energy. A lot of you guys have strong Aries placements in your chart or this person or your love interest does. I just seen the sun card. You see this person as your future partner, as your life partner more than anything. So we're going to get a clear look at that. And I just said, I seen the sun. Okay. Now here's the thing. You have the sun and the moon, right? The sun and then chariot is cancer. Cancer is ruled by the moon, right? So you have the sun and moon and this in reverse. I feel like again, right? You guys, it's like a back and forth, yin and yang, night and day with this individual, with this love interest that could be possible off and on because at one point the chariot was upright which means moving forward now it's in reverse it's like a halt and then you have a sun card which is absolutely the most positive card in the whole deck of tarot so even in reverse it's positive but it's just like there's a halt you know things aren't moving fluidly things aren't flowing fluidly right and I, i'm telling you again i feel like for a lot of you guys it's like this on and off again and that even makes sense with the nine of cups and then the five of cups next to each other you know, one thing, one minute, everything is joyous and it's celebration. And the next minute is like, what is this? But I feel like you and this person are used to this. I'm hearing the word, there's a pattern. There's a pattern in this relationship for a lot of you guys. Yeah, because now the sun card is coming up, right? And then you had a seven of cups, you know. And again, with the seven of cups, you know, that's the card of illusion, disillusion, being scattered minded all over the place, being in your head constantly. It's coming up in reverse right next to the sun card. So one moment you guys are kind of scattered and all over the place about the nature of the relationship. And next minute it's like, nope, we know we want to move forward with each other. Because the sun card is always about forward movement. Yeah. And like I said, cancer is ruled by the moon. So, you know, one minute this person feels like you're better half. Okay. What popped up is the two of swords. You have cards up under it. So you have the two of swords, you have the full card, again, that Aries energy, you have the four of wands, what I say, marriage, then you have the queen of cups in reverse, your energy, and then you have, again, fire, this water and fire energy, then you have the knight of um, wands in reverse right next to the queen of cups, which is you guys' energy. I feel like, again, that full card, you guys want to move forward into 
love union, life partnership. You feel like this person is your twin flame. You better have two of swords, right? So you got a nine of cups clarifying the two of swords. A decision needs to be made again, okay? Because think about it. The justice card, her eyes were covered. She, and she has a heart crossed. She has swords up, swords ablaze. I'm going to tell you guys, there's a constant off and on. You need to make a decision about whether you're going to be with this person or you're not. Look at this at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. You feel like this, you, you have the Nine of Cups here and then you have the Ten of Cups. You feel like this person is your happily ever after. Look at that. Wow. Look what flipped up again. So on the last deck, look at this. I cannot make this up. This was at the bottom of the deck initially for you guys. So you have a Justice card. Clarifying the Five of Cups. You had the Justice card earlier in the pre-shuffle. You feel like this person is your person. You feel like this is your life partner. Most definitely. You're holding on to this individual or this individual is holding on to you. Abundance, you have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Ace of Wands. And then looks like you got the Hangman again. You got the same cards repeating itself. So, oh, wow. Okay. And then you have the Judgment card, right? The Judgment card is about bringing something back from the dead. Look at that. They're, it looks like they're coming up out of the... um up out of caskets i always with this card i always know that this is like the blowing a horn giving this message but now i'm just hearing a pie piper right what i was going to say earlier is that be mindful of this individual and it's just as i'm getting ready to give you guys this message the time was 1622 so again you want to look up angel number 1622 right i feel like this person that you're dealing with again i'm getting strong fire sign energy right because even look at this angel's hair looks like flames you see that? And the wings are red. Fire sign energy. I feel like being mindful because as I'm hearing a Pied Piper, right? If you don't know the story about Pied Piper, Google it, right? I feel like this person has a way of kind of calling you back into their life. So it's like be mindful of that. And then with the Wheel of Fortune, there's a new cycle for a lot of you all with this individual. Like I said, I feel like this person is meant to be on your path either for this time or the long haul. Nonetheless, this person is meant to be on your path, you know. Definitely fire sign energy, ace of wands. This person is going to come in and give you an offer or suggest that you two reconcile. Now, this, again, this hangman energy, right? He's hanging from a tree branch that looks like a large wand, looks like to me, right? Again, this, this fire sign energy could have you constantly back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Look at the justice card. Even look at his garment, you know, this red color. Then over his head, you have this yellow I feel like this person is a very fiery energy individual, individual and it's clarifying this, you know, the five of cups. And again, I said in the background that fiery energy, I feel like you feel like this is your person. You feel like this is your life partner because of the justice card. That's balance. That's Libra energy. Somebody has some Libra energy. You have swords right here. Libra. Justice card, Libra, right? Somebody has strong Libra placements in their chart. But more than that, you know, you're needing to make a decision most definitely about this nature the nature of this situation but it looks like from the justice card you've made a decision that you want to be with this person this person has made a decision that they want to be with you you guys feel like you balance each other out and i feel like you guys feel like you balance each other out in a very unique way because you know the energies it just looks like one minute you guys are hot and cold but you you guys are used to this and this and it's somehow you guys make it work for you that's what i'm picking up okay so, Cancer, someone rising to Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.